What's up, Eddie's darlings? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you all's motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaurelsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Eddie's gods. All right, babies, this is going to be for November general love reading. So while you're here, make sure you hit that motherfucking like button. We're going to find out what's going on between you and your partner. We're also going to be figuring out um, what you don't see, what to expect, and um, possible outcomes. So... Let's get to it. I already got some oracle cards in this motherfucker. We have Clover, release your guilt. Very first card. And then we have Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? And Castle, it's time for healing, not war. All right, so there could be some smoke that don't nobody want up in this motherfucker. You might have to release and talk to a friend. Number nine could be very significant. Also 21. Let's see what's up. Let's see what Clover has to say. Oh, I'm right on the money. Look at that. Yes, for the gods. You've been carrying the burden of guilt on your shoulders for far too long. It's now negatively impacting all facets of your life and making it impossible to function. You've come to a crossroads where you need to choose a direction. Go ahead and make your reparations or release yourself from the cage you've built around yourself. Hence, sometimes the first road leads back around to the second. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so let's read number nine, Phoenix, as well. I feel like y'all need to hear some uplifting ass shit. Okay, it says, no matter how hopeless you may feel or may be feeling at this moment, know this. You can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook, ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisper of your name. Ooh, I like that. Somebody calling y'all name. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up. I'm going to get two cards for what's crowning you all together in your love life for my eddies. Give me two cards for my eddies for the month of November 2020. All right, six of wands coming out. Uh-oh, and nine of cups. All right, so I remember there was this drink that was called Kraken. Um, but from what I see, it looks to me, Nine of Cups here, Six of Wands, could be some jealousy that's around this relationship where you feel like you deserve someone to tell you how beautiful you are, you know, what you, just that uplifting energy. If they're not trying to be around like that, then bitch, go by, okay? That's what you want to do, baby. Nine of Cups, this is all about your pleasurement. This is all about whatever waves come your way. How do you handle them, okay? And are you able to actually fulfill what it is that you're wanting? So I do see that there could be a relationship you feel there needs to be some sort of fulfillment or you just want fulfillment altogether. Six of Wands energy here also indicates that some of you guys are already on that success level, but somebody needs to reach up or catch up to you. Here we go. What should they expect? What should Eddie's expect? All right, we have the Four of Cups, Ghoul, and the Hermit with the Strength. Could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and toward an energy here. The Fool. I've seen new beginnings. Okay. This motherfucker is enjoying his self. Okay, starting something new. This also could be that you've gained a lot of confidence or confidence is definitely coming your way 
Four of Cups. Now, some of you guys could be in contemplation. You might be dreaming, daydreaming, night dreaming, whatever this is. I feel like there's a lot of strength coming towards you. Now, this could be because you put up a fight. You have the Knight of Swords here, or some of some of you have definitely taken and stood your ground with this Knight of Swords. You got Barbarian in this motherfucker. Some of y'all had to get animalistic with motherfuckers. <laughs> But I see uh, for some of you all, there's definitely this vibe of having to call things as they see it with that uh, Nine of Cups. Also, Nine of Wands here might be feeling guarded as well. Let's see what you don't see for November in love. Oh, my Eddie's. I'm going to get a different deck. What you don't see. Here we go. King of Wands, Four of Pentacles here. Somebody's all about themselves. Keep could be holding some money to themselves, holding um, some truth to themselves of an action or some sort of action with this King of Wands here. I feel with the Five of Pentacles, this could be a relationship or someone that you've been in a relationship with before. Ten of Pentacles here. So this is definitely some financial blessings and incomes. But like I said, someone could be holding on to their end of the bargain or their financial status and not really wanting to help. But I see you guys are going to be on fucking top with this 10 of pentacles here. Okay. So for some of you guys, um, this is in love. If you have someone around you, they're hiding some things or they're holding on to a lot of things here. Because I do have the hangman here as well is what you don't see so definitely a lot of finances or somebody is guarding themselves from being able to come out okay using that escapism or trying to get away this could be someone who's wanting to have a relationship or there's a relationship that you're having to analyze or there's some sort of contract some of you guys are going to have to think over or think about Let's see how they view you. How they view Eddie's. All right, Page of Pentacles here and Justice. There could have been something that you were going back and forth in your head with or just all together if it was justified or if there was all truth that could have came out. This could be a Libra in energy. I'm also getting Sagittarius as well with the justice and the temperance coming out together. You know, you do have two major arcana, so there could be, could have been a beginning or something that was having to start over. You have the high priestess here as well. So there was definitely some sort of truth is how they view you or justice. Something is justified. Now, I see that they feel as though you might be outweighing your options or there could be a balance that you're having to make the shit flow right okay like i said it could be sagittarian energy leo as well another fire sign but you have a lot of a lot of major arcanas here star energy now there could be with the queen of wands this person feels like you're in the limelight or there could be some truth that's always being exposed when you're around But I see you in control is how they view you. Or controlling yourself. Give me three more cards for my Eddies. Give me three more cards. All right, we got the Page of Wands here and the Eight of Wands. So there's some communication coming out very, very soon. There could be a flow of messages or somebody sending you multiple messages back to back. I'm seeing with the Magician energy here, which is you and the Eight of Cups, you're turning your back on a situation that you have to let go of, especially with the Hangman here, okay? Some of you guys could be thinking about traveling or going somewhere new. Page of Swords here. So there is somebody who's spying on a third party or watching you as you're dropping off or letting go of a third party. Okay, but somebody is definitely watching this situation. Could also be dealing with two different energies here with the Page of Swords and also the Page of Cups. 
Let's see about possible outcomes. Could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this King of Cups here. I feel like somebody needs to bring in some romance or something. Because I didn't really see that many emotional cards that were bringing in love. So I just feel like for some of you guys, there's somebody who needs to like up the ante or some shit. Could be boring you. Just sitting there. Let's see what's up. Possible outcomes. I'm going to get the will of the year deck we have two of cups very first card to come out and eight of pentacles so yeah here's that love i feel someone needs to offer love it might be that someone's concentrating on work or a work environment more than they are you know putting that horsepower into the relationship but i do see that there is love that will be coming out you have something that you have to outweigh or invest in as well in a situation but i feel you're coming to a complete um and direct close Sagittarian energy here once again and also Virgo Taurus Capricorn there could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that's coming towards you with love clarifying that is the ace of cups so I'm getting that somebody feels as though they've missed out on the situation they were upset because something wasn't fully complete but they had to go in and find that balance that blend like I said it could be Sagittarian energy but I'm also picking up somebody's uh, was coming in very slow, but they had to work together or there was something um, that had to work a little bit more closer in the connection with the two of wands here, making those actions and getting things done. You have the high priestess here once again. I feel some of you guys, like I said, are putting in to old cycles. This could be karmetic cycles as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This could be in their uh, sun, moon or rising. But I'm getting some truth is going to come out. Could be about children, but I'm also seeing with the two of pentacles, this is like how the balance is going between you two. Okay, it could be endings that are happening here, but I definitely get a lot of major actions that are coming towards you with this Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, King of Wands. This also could be you as well too. Just be careful with the manipulation, but I do see that this could be a sexual turn on or somebody is getting turned on with a new beginning. Uh-oh. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. <laughs> Eddies, I feel like somebody is checking your body out, baby. Okay. Could have a very nice physique. Passion. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So let that motherfucker do what they need to you, honey, what you like. It says, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others as well. And reconciliation. Now, some of you guys have unrequited love. It's just not enough to keep shit going. You ain't got time to be dealing with dusty motherfuckers and shit like that. That's what I'm seeing. But a major reconciliation could be coming up. But you got passion. So this is definitely a sexual bond between you and your partner. You just really have to think about what is long term. And also, you know, being able to think of those intermittent things that bring on the passion. But talking to your friends might help as well. Gaining some sort of wisdom. Friendships. Uh, this could be siblings. Whatever the case may be. There's something that you need to let off your chest in between your relationship besides just you and your partner. Or this could be, you know, how you're working on your partnerships. So, definitely a reconciliation coming up. I see with the Ace of Wands, you got hot new beginnings coming in for the very first card. Or the very last card coming out. Alright? I love you guys oh so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.